Observers, what talk targets have you picked today? Um, positive body language, uh, asking relevant questions to the subject and challenging other people's opinions without starting an argument. Okay, good. So all three of you are going to look at those three aspects. Mm -hmm. you, you, you all, so positive body language, challenging others without arguing. And asking relevant and questions. Asking relevant questions. questions. So that's what you're going to be the focus is. Um, and do you know who you're observing? Yes. Yeah. So that's sorted. Um, what kind of language do you need to use in a meeting? Do you think what's an appropriate oh. language? So formal language. Clear. Yeah, speaking clearly. You know it all already. <laughs> and standard English, brilliant. Um, Laura spoke very clearly and made a lot of eye contact. Um, Lydia always had very strong eye contact with everybody when the person was speaking, constantly had eye contact with them and smiling. Um, Natalie's got very good listening skills because she always, if someone says something, she always like um, says back to them what they've said, like summarises it as well for the rest of the group. Um, nodding and agreeing with people and also smiling. Um, so Natalie asking a lot of relevant questions about the meaning of the adverts and um, about persuasive techniques. Um, Laura wasn't asking as many questions because she was a scribe there as well. Yeah. Lydia asked a few questions just about the adverts and stuff. Um, Laura challenged the opinion about the style of the advert for Stratford, what um, Danielle just said, about doing it a bit more serious instead of always fun to make it but still have it in a fun kind of way. Um, Lydia challenged opinion, uh, Kieran and Jordan's opinion I think on the <coughs> um, by giving her own opinion as well instead and also challenged the opinion about the advert type for the brief for Stratford and that was it Natalie didn't I'm happy. <laughs>